Hi, how you doing? My name is Randy and today we're going to be installing the new Anoon Auto door handle LED bowls. Mine has an Impala symbol on it. And then uh, what you do is to start out, you're going to have three screws, one, two, three. And then you're going to have a, I think it's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. So you'll need a screwdriver, a T30 hex, and uh, I think a 10 millimeter bolt. This is not it, but yeah. Or 932s, but the little guy. I'm not good with my sizes, but a little guy. And then uh, you'll need something flat to pop this out. Mine already did for you. And then you're gonna wanna take this off right here for your door. And then you're gonna, when you take these screws out, you're going to want to pop it, pop it with a flathead screwdriver or something flat and soft so you don't scratch it up. And you just go ahead and pop this out. And I got my LED. I had to, you, you had to drill a hole diagonal through here to the back right here. And I ran my wire right through to the back. Now I have LED uh, light strips going in my cubby so I just went ahead and uh, connected those together and I'm running that through my speaker and then if you go in here you can put your hand in here with no problem and then fill the rubber and just pop that out and then it comes out and then you stab it I, I stabbed it and then made a hole right there and ran it right through here and then you take this off same thing with a flathead screwdriver now I have switches I'm running mine to a switch and if you do switch and you don't know how what you do is obviously you cut out a hole to fit okay and then you uh, you're gonna have a power and a negative you take your power and your negative and run that all the way to the battery and the, the for the power and then the red and then the black to the negative or a good ground off your chassis make sure there's no paint because if there's paint it's not going to work you have to it has to be metal bare metal and then you hook that up and then after that whenever you run anything like you're going to run these to a switch if you run them to a switch you have your power and your negative hooked up already you'll take your ground your black wire and run it to a ground which i'm using right here would be a good ground right here and then uh, you run your power to the back of the switch and then you take your ground and, and then put it right there into the ground tighten it make sure it's secure and then that's that there you go off and on and then uh, that's that's how you run a switch now if you're not running to a switch and you're running to your actual power on your door you want to have your ignition in to the on position and when you do that you want to take your tester and put it to this ground and then have a good ground on it and then you'll put your tester to each individual slot if it runs power remember which one has power okay because that's your that's your on power and then the, each one goes directly to your cord in the back to the wire in the back so with the one you hit in the front and if it has power that it'll have power back there turn your ignition off and then look for those powers if that power is off on that one then you know that you're off and on your power it's not it's not continuous so you'll have it on when your car is on and turned off when your car is off okay so if you're looking for the dimmer or something like that the same thing goes you 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 just look in here and you you look for the you find the power and uh, I don't know too much about dimmers I just know the off and on and then and then the the constant running I don't like mine to be constant and I do have some things that go to my battery uh, and then uh, I also have all all my lights go to my switches I the switch is the way to go I think because you could just control them right here turn them off and on and uh, it runs to your battery and it's it's it just works out that way I think but that's anyway if not this is how you do it with the tester and uh, the on and off you with your ignition on and you turn the you have the the power and if it's off 
uh, when you turn the ignition off and then it don't it don't light up that's the one you want you'll come back here and you'll splice the end of this that'll be your power and then you take that black wire and then you run it through here and then you get your your negative there's a there's your ground right there or if you want to run it straight to your battery like that and have them on to the on same thing applies run to the positive and then your negative to your sorry about that with my camera but anyway that you'll put it in with your ground right there your power to that switch where you you uh, splice it in I, I put my door back on but uh, you'll splice it to that power that you choose from when you test it that's your power your hot and then your ground when you run it through there to the where I showed you with your hand and through here to this to the firewall and then bring it right around here when you fill it and that's your ground you just uh, take that off it's nice and solid I've already used it so I know it's a good ground ground out right here and voila turn it back on and you should be good so I'm gonna go ahead and hook my wires up now and see where I'm at I'm using a switch like I said so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and hopefully we'll have some power and I get to see my nice and noon auto door handle LED bowls there it is a noon auto right there boy they got me nice looking good looking good both of them there he is and I went ahead and put some LEDs in the in the, in the cubbies right there. Hard to see because it's daylight right now, but you, over here you can see this one good better. But that's where we're at right there. Now I just need to get the back to it. Get the back to it and I'll be set. Thank you, Anun Auto, all day. All day I'm gonna stick with you guys. You guys got the best. Got you on that windshield too. Let me show you on that windshield real quick. I'm sorry, I had to take it and go show it off real quick to some some of my peoples right there. Okay, here we go. Well, here you go. I'm doing out of they said I could throw you on there. They didn't have no decals for me. They said I could make a decal. Sponsor you, so there you go. Sponsoring the new auto. All right, there he is. Thank you, a new auto.